How does feedback cause a prediction error and how does that impact learning? Imagine you're playing golf and you hit a golf ball and this happens. This is a form of feedback. You see where the ball is relative to the hole. When we talk about feedback processing, we use specific language here. This is an outcome. So feedback provides the outcome of something that happens. Imagine a different scenario where you write a midterm exam. The grade that the teacher provides you is an outcome. Or a coach leaning in to give you some advice about technique that provides feedback or that feedback is an outcome about what you did. Now, when we actually learn from feedback, we compare these outcomes with something called an expectation. Now, this is not your conscious expectation or your ego's expectation. It's the motor system's expectation. So the parts of your brain that are responsible for generating the motor skill generate an expectation about what's going to happen. So in this case, the motor system might have believed that the ball was going to go in the hole because the motor system believed that they were successful. Now, the outcome then can be compared with this expectation, and that's what drives feedback-dependent learning. If you think back to our exam example, you might have believed on a midterm exam that you got 80%. That's your expectation. And then the professor puts a grade of 70 on the paper, and that's the outcome. So comparing that outcome with the expectation is what drives feedback-dependent learning. When we talk about feedback-dependent learning, we formalize this and call these prediction errors. So the prediction error is generated when outcomes don't match our expectations. So with the golf example, if we expected the ball to go in and it didn't, then there's a difference between our expectation, the ball going in, and the outcome, the ball not going in, and this is a prediction error. And as we'll learn later in the course, feedback provides these outcomes, which we can compare with expectations, so we can compute these prediction errors, and that's how we modify our motor skills. The prediction error itself can be used by the brain to modify the skill that was just executed.